Welcome back everybody. Today we're going to do our last little look this month at Jazz Vocabulary 251s in terms of starting off on the same pitch. We've done the 3rd, the 7th, the ninth, the 11th. The last pitch to do is the 13th. So we're going to do it where I like to be thorough. I like to go all the way through and this is a great way to come up with your own way to find and navigate this type of harmony on your own. So we're in the key of C major and we're going to play two fives in five levels. So we're going to do diatonic, we're going to add some bebop scales, we're going to add diminished scales, add altered scales, and then we're going to add uh, some chromaticism to make it even more exciting to get some more variety. And so what we're going to do today is start from the 13th of the two chord. C major, that's D minor 7, is our two chord, and so the 13th or the 6th is D, E, F, G, A, B natural, and so we're going to have that B natural be our starting pitch. It's a little bit of an unusual note to start on. It's not necessarily a strong pitch. It's not a chord tone. It's an extension, so it's always going to feel kind of like a pickup in, the, in these situations. So something totally di diatonic would sound like this. Nice little decoration on the one chord and then we're going to add in bebop scales on the five chord. The beginning of that one's a little funny. It goes a tritone away instead of that B wants to go up to the C, which is the seventh of the two chord, but that doesn't matter. A nice little phrase there, using that bebop scale. Then we're going to add in diminished. Moving to altered. Kind of just going straight up the five chord on that altered scale, but it's really nice to kind of play this C, almost like a C major over the D minor seven. And going straight into that altered scale on the five chord. Pretty cool. And then we add a little bit of chromaticism to make all of this come together. So make sure you're playing these slow, especially the ones with more chromaticism, because sometimes it can be hard to hear the voice leading, but it's it's definitely there, and you can hear the way that it leads from two to five to one. So there's five ways to connect from the 13th of the two chord uh, to five one. I hope that you can take those to the keys, use them as a jumping off point for your own phrases, and I hope that this series of videos has helped you to create a system for organizing language, for thinking, of the starting pitch as a way to find different ways of resolving and different ways of finding our path through these changes. That's what this is all about. There's a million ways to do it and you need to find all the different possible ways so that when you hear a certain note on a certain chord, you can pick it out, land on it, and then you've got 25 ways that you've practiced to get from that two chord to the next five chord to the next one chord. So that's what I like to do. I wanna create my own improvisational freedom by being taking a deep, dive into all of this material and really exploring the many different ways of utilizing it and exploiting it. So I hope that you've enjoyed this series. I'd love to see what you guys are working on. Leave me a comment down below. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel if you want more content like this. Uh, we've got lots coming at you this month. So I appreciate you being here and we'll see you in the next video.